All right, you guys, uh, sorry about this. Part five, part six, part seven here. Um, our school is deciding that, which is a good decision, that uh, we need to spend lots of time on factoring. So um, uh, we're kind of uh, supplementing our textbook a little bit. So this is uh, factoring difference of squares and perfect square trinomials. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at that groovy web website. So rewrite each monomial, at, I'm sorry, rewrite each as a monomial squared, okay? Well, 25 is 5 squared. This is 8 squared. This is a squared. So this is 8a quantity squared right there. This is 11xy squared squared, okay? Okay, a couple more, all right? This is 15. So what times, what squared is x to the 6? x to the 3rd squared is x to the 6, and then y squared. So it's 15x to the 3rd y squared squared. Remember, you guys, powers raised to powers, we multiply them. So 3 times 2 would get me that 6 right there, okay? All right, I know that uh, 400 is 20 squared, so this one is 19 squared. It's a little bit less than 400, okay? 19 x, y to the fifth, z to the third, all squared. All right, so the reason why we're doing this, you guys, is is here we have squared here this is a difference of squares this is a perfect square square trinomial so we're dealing with all these things squared so when we see these kind of numbers here these black numbers here we're going to rewrite them as these blue numbers here okay all right so when we're factoring what's called a difference of squares you got a minus sign which means difference and there's squares on each side they always give the conjugate trick x plus y times x minus y Okay, several weeks ago, I would have asked my students to FOIL out x plus y, x minus y, and it would have given us x squared minus y squared. FOILing is the opposite of factoring. So when we're factoring, we're asking what times what gives us that right there, okay? All right, so let's factor these guys completely. Okay, so difference of squares. This is x squared. This is 9 squared. This is 2x squared. This is 3 squared. 5x squared, 7 squared. Okay, so uh, here we're going to write this as x plus, x plus 9, x minus 9. I'm just following this pattern right here. x squared minus y squared. Here's x squared. My y squared is 9. So x plus y is x plus 9 and x minus 9. Okay, all right. So uh, this is 2x squared minus 3 squared. This is 5x squared. This is 7 squared. So x plus y, x minus y. I'm following this right here. Okay, so this is 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3. 5x, uh, it doesn't matter if you write the plus 1 first or the minus 1 second. You got, it doesn't matter. So um, I could have put the plus 7 here and the minus 7 here. It doesn't matter. Okay, so whatever order your teacher likes you to put it in, doesn't matter. Okay, all right. So here you guys. Uh, we got a GCF. Did I do that? Did I clear that up? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, here, I'm going to make a mistake on this on my lesson. So, so look, we got a GCF first, you guys. I can pull a, a 9 out of these, and when I pull a 9 out, then we're left with a 4 minus um, uh, 9 uh, Z to the fourth right there, and so I made a mistake in class, and my students corrected me on this, okay? Um, so I still have a mistake on this flip chart right here, and then this is going to be um, uh, 9 times uh, uh, times 2 uh, plus uh, 3Z squared, and then 2 minus 3Z squared. So, uh, sorry, it takes me a second here. So and then... Uh, 2 minus 3z squared, okay? All right, so uh, that's the correct answer, right? Uh, let me get rid of the exponent there. Whoops, uh, right here. Sorry. Uh, does your teacher make mistakes a lot? So close that parenthesis right there. I'm having a hard time doing that. Uh, there we go. So there's the correct answer right there. You know what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that. Okay, so uh, you can see uh, I chose uh, this is uh, this is 6 squared minus 9z squared, and that's okay, you guys. And then this would be 6 plus 9z squared and 6 minus 9z squared. Um, but it's not factored completely because I can pull a 3 out of that. And if I pulled a 3 out of that, then I'd be left with uh, 2 plus 3z squared. And if I pulled a 3 out of that, 2 minus 3z squared, which would get us to our final answer of uh, this right here. I'm going to... I'm going to delete that and replace it with that. That's the correct answer. Okay, over here, you guys. 
Uh, let me get rid of that. So, so this is uh, 13 squared x squared squared, and this is 15 squared y z cubed squared right there. So this is going to be put the conjugates in here: 13 x squared plus 15 y z squared, and then 13 x squared minus 15 y z squared. Okay, so so there's the answer to that one right there. Okay, all right. So here you guys. So um, again, um, uh, this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square, but we can GCF out a 16. 16 gets pulled out of those. So remember, first step of factoring that you saw that I forgot in that last one is to factor out the 16 first, okay? So then we get x plus 2, x minus 2, okay? All right, so uh, if we did do that, 4x plus 8, 4x minus 8, then we need to pull a 4 out of that and a 4 out of that. So there's the 16 right there times x plus 2, x minus 2. So you get the same answer as long as you factor it out at the end. Otherwise, it's not factored completely, and you make a mistake that I sometimes do. Okay, so here is uh, x squared minus y squared squared, except my y is b plus c. So here is x plus y, here is x minus y. So there's like an imaginary 1 in front of those, so distribute that 1 through, and then there's the final answer right there, okay? All right, so uh, here, this one here, this is my x, x squared minus y squared. So we're going to do this one plus this one, and then that one minus that one. And that's the answer. We don't have to worry about distributing it through. All right, so when we're factoring perfect square trinomials, they always give us a binomial squared, okay? Now, again, several weeks ago, I would have said, foil out x plus y times x plus y, and it would have given us this. If we foiled out x minus y times x minus y, it would have given us that. So these perfect square trinomials factor to these binomial squared. These go pretty fast if you see it, you guys. Okay, let's pull a 2 out. Okay, if we pull a 2 out, and then notice, perfect square, perfect square, three terms. It's a perfect square trinomial because there's three terms. So this is going to be a binomial squared, okay? So it's going to be x plus 1 squared. Don't forget about your 2 right there. Okay, so that factors to that. All right, how about this guy? Okay, so perfect square, perfect square. It's a trinomial, perfect square trinomial. It always has this sign in the middle. All right, so what you got to do is uh, you got to mentally check. Multiply these. Uh, x times negative 7 is negative 7x, and then you got to double it. If you double it and it's that, then, then we're done. Okay, notice if I multiply these as 1x, double it as 2x. As long as it's double in the middle, then it's, then, it's, uh, then it's correct. Okay, so here we go. So perfect square, perfect square, trinomial, perfect square, trinomial. So they give us um, a binomial squared. This sign always goes in the middle right here. We got to see if it's double. 5x times 8y is 40xy, double is 80, so that's it right there, okay? All right, so this one here, perfect square, that's 20a squared squared. This is uh, 3b squared, so it's a perfect square trinomial, gives me a binomial squared. Okay, this sign always goes right here, and the things that's being squared goes here and here. It's this guy being squared. Now let's multiply these. That's negative 60 a squared b, double it, gets me negative 120, so that's correct right there. All right, check out this one. Perfect square, perfect square, perfect square trinomial, and then we've got to see if it's double. Okay, 5x times 2y is 10xy, double it. No, it's not double. This has to be a 20. So the fact that it's not double tells me that guy is, uh, uh, it would, it's prime. Okay, so it has to be double. We would need to have this to be 20xy to be double in the middle right there. All right, one more, you guys. Okay, perfect square, perfect square. So this is 1 squared, so it gives us a binomial squared. It's going to be this one. This sign goes in the middle plus this one. And then if we multiply those and double it, it gets us that. All right, that's it, you guys. If you're in our class, we're going to give you another worksheet. All right, you guys, take care.